Oliver, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to secure your AWS account if it is compromised. Let's get started. Security is of utmost importance to AWS, and we constantly monitor all AWS accounts to make sure that your AWS account is secure. However, there are scenarios when an account is compromised if an access key is exposed in a public forum. For example, in GitHub. In this video, I'll share the steps you need to take in order to resecure your AWS account. The first step is to change the AWS account root user password. To change the password for the root user, you must be signed in as the AWS account root user and not an AWS identity and access management user. Use your AWS account email address and password to sign into the AWS management console as the AWS account root user. Remember, do not use your root user to utilize or access your account at all, unless absolutely necessary. In the upper right hand corner of the console, choose your account name and number, and then choose my account. On the right side of the page, next to the account settings section, choose edit. If you haven't signed in recently, you might have to sign in again. On the password line, choose Edit to change your password. Choose a strong password. When you have created a strong password, click Save Changes. Note, this is the password you will need to use the next time you log in. The second step is rotate and delete all root and IAM access keys. To rotate access keys for an IAM user without interrupting your application, while the first access key is still active, Create a second access key. Sign into the AWS Management Console and navigate to the IAM Console. In the navigation pane, choose Users. Choose the name of the intended user and then choose the Security Credentials tab. Choose Create Access Key and then choose Download.csv file to save the access key ID and secret access key to a .csv file on your computer. Store the file in a secure location. You will not have access to the secret access key again after this window closes. After you download the .csv file, choose Close. The new access key is active by default. At this point, you have two active access keys. Update all applications and tools to use the new access key. Determine whether the first access key is still in use by reviewing the last used column for the oldest access key. Use only the new access key to confirm that your applications are working. Once you are sure that all applications and tools are updated, you can delete the first access key. Any applications and tools that still use the original access key will stop working at this point because they no longer have access to AWS resources. Sign into the AWS Management Console and navigate to the IAM Console. In the Navigation pane, choose Users. Choose the name of the intended user and then choose the Security Credentials tab. Locate the Access key to delete and choose the cross button at the far right of the row. Then choose Delete to confirm. Rotate all the IAM Access keys created before the account was compromised. Remember, it's recommended to not create or use root user access keys, but if their usage is absolutely necessary, remember to rotate them as well, or delete root user access keys if you do not absolutely need to use them. The third step is to delete any resources on your account you didn't create, such as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Instances, AMIs, Amazon Elastic Block Store Volumes, and Snapshots. Sign into your AWS account and then check that all the resources on your account are resources that you have launched. Make sure to check all AWS regions, even regions where you have never launched AWS resources. Pay special attention to the following. EC2 instances and AMIs, including instances in the stop state, EBS volumes, and snapshots. If you're not sure how to delete a resource associated with a particular AWS service, reach out to AWS Support. 
It's also a best practice to actively monitor your account. For more information, see the Security Best Practices article linked in the Associated Knowledge Center article. The last step is to respond to any notification that you receive from AWS Support through the AWS Support Center. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.